Hi guys, this is Concise Reviews. Now, I've already done a video on how to fit a tempered glass screen protector to the S9 and S9 Plus, which I'll link up the top here. But today I've got the Clear Look tempered glass screen protector, which is my favorite brand for screen protectors. It's the one I ended up sticking with on my S7 Edge, so we'll get this on and see how this looks. Okay, now one thing that's great about this screen protector is not only does it come with the protector and the normal cleaning wipes, but it also comes with this kind of guide which you use to f stick to the front of your phone and then you can really easily just drop the screen protector on in place. So we'll see how that works. You also get some pretty clear instructions, obviously the screen protector and then the normal cleaning wipes um, and dust removing pads. Okay, so I'm not going to go through how to install it in too much detail because as I said I've done another video on that which you can access by clicking the link in the top here but there's a few things you really need to remember. Turn your phone off so that it doesn't distract you while you're trying to fit it and also the background of the S9 has kind of like a star effect sometimes that can be quite confusing you think it's a bit of dust. Wash your hands to get rid of any uh, oils or anything on your hands so you won't leave any smudges on the screen. I think it's worth warming the screen protector up slightly because there's a very thin line of glue around the outside so just warming it up slightly maybe with a hair dryer or putting it on a radiator uh, can help it stick. Obviously make sure there's no dust on the screen with the wipes um, and then you should be good to go. So I'm just going to whiz through that now quickly and then we'll see how the screen protector fits. So as you can see, this guide just sort of clips around the phone, stays quite solid. Okay, so the screen looks pretty clean, so peel the back film off. Have one last look at the screen, check there's no dust. And then put this on pretty quickly so that no dust falls on the underside of this. And also do not touch the underside of this. So it's probably easier if we put it horizontal. And it should just drop into the right place thanks to the guide. Yeah, that pushes on really easily. Okay, I want to give it a bit of pressure around the outside because that's where the adhesive is. And it's just a very fine adhesive. It won't leave any mark on your phone. It's just so that it stays in place and doesn't sort of slide about on your phone. Sometimes with screen protectors you can hear a bit of creaking where they're not quite the right fit but this is just like I was uh, if I was pushing on the glass of the screen so it's a real tight snug fit. Just give it some pressure from the middle out. This will leave a mark on this screen protector, some smudges but we can just wipe that off in a second. Okay that should be on then we can just remove this guard And there you go, then you can turn your phone on and just check that the screen's still responsive, which it should be. Okay, and now the phone's back on, you just want to check that you can still use the keyboard okay. And that's absolutely fine, no issues for me. Now if you do find that it's not quite as responsive as it was before you put the screen protector on, I don't think that's going to be an issue with this clear look screen protector, but you can easily make a change in the settings by dragging down from the top, hitting the cog, going to advanced features, scrolling down to the bottom to touch sensitivity and there's an option there which allows you to make it more sensitive if you're using it with a screen protector so just make sure that that's turned on because it's turned off by default okay we'll just double check that it fits with a case and i've done a review on some really cool vrs cases which you can check if you click the link in the top right here that's causing no issues at all. You can see there's a very small gap between the case and the edge of the screen protector, so it's not going to be pushing that up off. It's also got a very smooth feel. It feels just as if uh, I was touching the glass, so I have to say I'm really, really impressed with this uh, Clearlick screen protector. I'll put a link to this in the description below so that you guys can check it out on Amazon, but 
this is probably the the best fit in tempered glass screen protector I've ever used on a phone um, particularly a, a phone with a curved edge because it's so crucial that it's a good fit if it's slightly wide or slightly narrow um, it's not going to fit properly and it will seem like it's sort of raised off the screen and you'll get a tapping sound when you're typing but yeah I'm really impressed with that so hopefully that was helpful to you guys if it was please like and subscribe for more from Concise Reviews